and welcome to David Christopher's. I'm Jen. I'm David. And we are back for another hopefully exciting episode of What's David Gonna Do Today? Yeah, today I think we're gonna do wall pockets. Ooh, wall pockets. We haven't done wall pockets in a while. No, it's been a while, so that's what we're gonna hopefully make exciting. Awesome. So you're gonna do how many different kinds? We've got three different styles we're gonna throw at you. So Let's just go ahead and jump in on it. What do you say? Yeah. Sure. Why not? Let's do it. I don't know what I'm doing. Just hang this here. Put some flowers in. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we've got our wall pocket flat-ish bucket and this nice antique gray color got a little bit of a, a terracotta very faint pattern in it and we're going to need to put some styrofoam in that so we're going to use this two inch by four inch, two inch by four inch by 12 inch spray bar of styrofoam and we're just gonna mark that real quick we want it to go side to side and styrofoam, really easy. Just score it, snap it off. That fits down inside really well. Sorry about the noise if you're, it's gonna sound a little like nails on a chalkboard or, you know, nobody likes those noises. But then we're gonna dip this in our glue just on the corners where it's gonna touch really well. That's the best place and eliminate that sound a little bit. And then we're gonna end up with a little gap on the front and the back. It's go side to side, but we're gonna cut our uh, remaining piece here and just kind of cut it, I think half should be pretty good. So we'll cut that in half, maybe shave it down just a little And that way we can slide this in and that will keep our we're in glue that will keep our spray bar that's in there from moving around at all front to back and it'll also give you a little more uh, space to um, glue stems to so you don't miss the styrofoam as much when you do it like this if you don't put that extra piece in there and you are placing your stem sometimes you'll just go straight in behind it and or in front of it and you'll never know that you actually missed the styrofoam so a little point of doing that so we've got this pretty filled up now there's a little bit of gap but you've got plenty of room to stick your stems into the styrofoam so that they won't go anywhere when you get this done then we're going to take a little bit of Spanish moss, separate it out, thin it out a little bit. Uh, if it's too clustered, sometimes it's hard to stick your stems into. And we're just going to push that over the sides of our styrofoam. We just want to hide any of that in case for some reason you can see through to the styrofoam, you will see something more natural. And we should note that Spanish moss is messy. It is very so. messy. Don't be alarmed if you order one of our kits and you get a bag of Spanish moss that it kind of falls apart. And right now it's really giving me vibes of my hair in this humidity. <laughs> yeah, it also <laughs> attracts everything and uh, gets entangled with everything just like your hair also. Yes, thank you, David, for always saving me and getting things out of my hair. Like there's that time that you had the uh, fingernail stuck in your hair and you were like, help me i can't get it out yeah so many things have been stuck in my hair press on them yeah i'm not used to wearing press on nails and just recently i've discovered them and yeah i've gotten them stuck in my hair it's just a mess and i'm just making a couple of little hooks out of some wire and gluing those in you don't have to do that i'm just a little ocd you want to show them maybe a close-up of a hook is this kind of hard to see on a mm. So it's just a little piece of wire 
Yeah. But I'm trimming to about inch and a half, two inches. And then I bend it so it's kind of U-shaped, V-shaped. I don't know, whatever that is. Greater than, less than. And then that way it will grab some of that Spanish moss if you glue it in. And then you can't pull this out as easy. Okay, so for our first one today, we're going to be doing kind of a classic French country style. Uh, basically, we're going to be using hydrangeas, kind of cream colored hydrangeas uh, in our wall pocket. And um, I've got two different versions of cream colored hydrangeas. So just keep in mind that you can use like like this one's a little more expensive because it's a single stem. Most of the time they're gonna be more expensive. The Bush version has five stems on it and that would be a little bit less expensive. So just keep in mind, there's multiple price ranges you can use for this kind of thing uh, because we're really just gonna be uh, clustering these together and packing them in. And when you're doing that, it's m far less noticeable. Um, which version you're using and we can even mix them a little bit in fact i may just do that uh, just to save cost cutting measures we'll cut this one apart and we've got just a little bit of glue on there and we're gonna glue that into our styrofoam One more toward the back. And then we're going to stick this one right in the middle, right there. So we've got less expensive versions, and then we've got a more expensive version. And I've got a couple of these left on this this bush so I'm gonna go ahead and add these in you wouldn't necessarily have to and you wouldn't necessarily have to have this more expensive version it does look a little more natural so that's one of the main reasons that I use it get that little more natural color What type of hydrangeas are the ones you're working with? Uh, this one's tag fell off. I know we have garden. So the... Cypress, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, this is the, the bush we call the cypress garden hydrangea bush. Okay. I know that one. I don't remember what the stem is called. It's okay. I it's one wait. of these things. I lost my tag. I make a list of the items that we used in today's video. You can find that collection in the description or underneath the video. You'll see the products that are that have been used that will be tagged and that'll make shopping very easy. And I'm pretty sure we'll put together a kit for this. Yeah. So a lot of people like to just mound a lot of hydrangeas um, in their wall pocket. Very classic French country style. Um, I like to do mine a little bit lower and then add some other things. So if I was going to do that really just bigger style, I would probably make these a little looser. I might even need a second um, round of hydrangeas just to make this really like a bigger poof, the technical term of hydrangea. <laughs> <laughs> here but we're actually going to add a couple other things just to make this a little bit more interesting and one of those things that we're going to add is our it's like a faux dried cream rose so that's going to keep going really well with our uh, french country kind of style as it looks very dried and you know very natural And that cream color is just going to work great with our hydrangeas. It's slightly darker than the hydrangeas, so it's really going to stand out. Mm -hmm. 
and get some down toward the the bottom part. Now, we've placed these in similar locations, so what we really want to do is we want to make sure that we make these different heights. We don't want these two at this, like, this looks goofy, just, it almost looks like eyeballs looking at you. So, we want to make sure that these are at different heights, different angles, uh, so that they don't look like they're, you know, completely mixed together. So, if you want, you can take one of these and just move it around to one side or the other uh, and that way you've got them completely different places and they don't look uh, as out of place as if they were super matching and then we've got one more left i think one more rose and i will like it's got a plastic stem and sometimes these are um, the thicker they are, and this one's a little bit thick right there in that spot, but I need that height, so I'm not going to cut it to the thinner part. So I'll just take a knife and shave that plastic part down a little bit so that it makes it a little bit easier to place. I feel like I need to give do not try this at home warnings to some people because some, some people get worried about you using that knife and maybe they don't realize i know accidents can happen but how long you've actually been i've been doing this a while <laughs> so, and i was playing with knives in my childhood so it's not maybe as dangerous for you as it could be for someone else that doesn't have experience with knife handling that's a possibility so now we've got our roses in there and you could you could add more rose if you wanted to um, I'm going to add this poppy because I want something kind of wispy uh, coming out from there. And that cream colored poppy, a little bit of yellow in the center, I think is going to work great. And I'm going to cut a couple of those poppy pieces off into individual stems. I'm going to leave these on my stem so I can use that. But this will allow you just to extend a little bit if you want to. I mean, again, you know, design is kind of subjective to what you prefer. So it's uh, it's your house. It's your, you know, it's your arrangement in the end. It's not mine. So do what you want to do. But I'm just giving you ideas for what I think works really well is to add a little bit of this lighter... Um, airy stem. Ooh, the wind outside. I don't know if people can hear that. It's just... It's a tad windy. Oh, my. <laughs> Making the whole building kind of It crazy. is. <laughs> it's always fun to have interruptions in the... Yeah, it just all of a sudden, we were supposed to get straight line winds yesterday. Yeah, so that I was feel the like yesterday thing. This is... It's way windier. To yes. See. We actually closed our retail store a little early because of threatening storms, but man. Hmm. You never know. You never know here in the south with the tornadoes. I feel like we always mention those at some point in every spring. Well, we, yeah, we might. April's kind of the month that those start popping up, it seems. Although in Alabama, they can pop up any time. That is true. Could be Christmas Day, tornado. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to add just a little bit more, some of it kind of coming down in front of our 
um, wall pocket here. And I'm just separating out the hydrangea petals so I don't accidentally glue my um, poppy to the hydrangea petals. That's really annoying when I accidentally do that. But it does happen, so trying to avoid that as much as possible. Coming in for a close-up. Again, remember to shop davidchristophers.com. We sell wholesale, we sell retail, and if you shop with us retail, we will have a collection built with all of these items. We'll also have a kit available so you can purchase this and easily get everything you need in one little bundle to make your own creation. So one down, two to go, and what's going to be different, it looks like you've already prepared the inside of this one, so we're not going to go through that step again. I didn't think we'd want to see that more than once. I don't think so. Ever. So, so now you know how to do that. You've also prepared the third one. I have. So now it's just going to be adding flowers to this? I think so. Do you have different flowers I than do. what we used? Okay. Yes. Okay, so for door pocket number two, wall pocket, door pocket, whatever, some kind of pocket. We're going to be using some of these EVA flowers. And I know we've talked about this before, and I honestly can't remember what it stands for. Um, it's, a, uh, it's a foam material. But these actually sell really well. A lot of our customers like them. They're super user-friendly. Um, you just kind of take them and we're going to open this bloom up a little bit. These are great pieces. If you have like tall vases, like bottleneck vases or something that you want to put something in and just kind of change it out occasionally, these are fantastic pieces to do that with. So that's one of the pieces that we're going to use. This is another piece that we're going to use. And they're all just kind of like, they're not necessarily meant to be very specific things, um, but they work really well. A little bit oversized most of the time. So if you've got large spaces, large vases, these work really great uh, to mix those in. But for this, I'm going to cut this one apart. Ethylene vinyl acetate. That's it. Or ethylene. <laughs> Ethylene, Ethylene vinyl. vinyl yep, I forgot my uh, Spanish moss. So I'm going to throw a little bit of that on there real quick. I didn't completely prepare. I just thought I did. Okay. So we're just going to take this particular leaf branch apart. And we're going to make sure we give this some real curve and movement. We don't want to leave these completely straight. We want them to uh, flow kind of naturally. Just remember, we don't want these to be the same height or the same, like we don't want these to look like deer antlers coming out here. So we're going to bend one down a little bit you know, more around, so that they don't look like deer antlers here. We're going to keep those a um, little bit different. And we can also cut some of the sizes. Um, when we get around to that, I'm still using some of the taller pieces to give us some of that height. But we can cut this yet again, make it a little bit smaller. And angle some of these down in front of our wall pocket. And that's covering nicely. The 
this one a little bit shorter. But like I said, these are incredibly user friendly. Um, so as you can tell, I'm not having to do an awful lot to this. I'm really just sticking them in and bending them. Um, so if you're looking for something that's extremely DIY, I do recommend some of these EVA material flowers to you uh, because we have had a lot of customers that really do like working with those. One more piece off of this particular leaf bunch. Now I will say they're not extremely, they're not cheap, but they are large, so they go a long way. You don't necessarily need as many as if you were buying a normal stem, you might need quite a few more. So then we're gonna cut the bloom out of one of our, it's like a magnolia. They're kind of like water lily, magnolia, something along those lines. So we're going to tuck that one in a little lower. We're going to leave this one just a little bit longer. Hey everybody, to see how pretty these are. Just going to get an up close of those. Right. So as you can see, really easy didn't take a lot of time, a lot of effort at all. That's a very easy way to go. And I will use just a little bit of this um, eucalyptus pick or bush to uh, fill in just a little bit down here at the base, just to break that up a little bit so it's not all the same looking foliage. That's going to make a little bit of difference here. and make you like you put a lot more effort into it. So I learned a little bit today about invasive species and how different things can end up in the wrong area. And I was just thinking about how um, artificial botanicals, faux botanicals, whatever you want to call them, is a way for you to use any kind of flower you want in your home without worrying about it being an invasive species and pollinating and growing in places that it shouldn't and things like that. So this one's finished. We're going to time to move on to door pocket number three. What's behind that door? It's like, let's make a deal, but with flowers. So for this one, we're going to go bright, much brighter colors, much springier. We're going to use our Perfect Peony Bundle. I'm sure you've seen me use this before if you've been watching our videos. Um, lots and lots of colors. This one's pretty bright. Uh, this is our dark pink. But just a great, uh, easy to use. Just a little bit of glue. And just remember when you're cutting these that you can always make it shorter. But if you cut it too short, it's a lot harder to make it grow in length. So if you're in doubt, you know, cut it, decide you like it there, cut it again, whatever length you want, and then stick it in. But if you do happen to get to a place where you're like, oh, I cut that too short, like this may be a little shorter than I want for this particular thing, I'm going to use this stem, the wire that came out of one of my other peony stems, and I've got just a little bit of room in the stem here, and I'm just going to dab it in glue and stick that up in there, and I've made it much taller. a certain height that you typically will tell people to make their 
like proportions? Well, different kind of containers, different heights, but for something like this, I'm usually in the like four inch range if you want to do a tight cluster. And then I, you know, like I've been doing, I'm kind of going a little bit wispy with the other pieces. So that's why. But if I was just going to like, say, just make this a big mound of peonies, I'd probably go a little bit further out, like six inches all the way around. Mm -hmm. Just to add a little volume to it. I just sometimes see other door pockets and they look a little squatty if the, they're not extended away from the door pocket, either right. on the sides or the top. Yeah, and you can, you can do that. And if you get to a place where you're like, I'm going to make this a little longer, like I said, just use that piece of wire. You can stick that, cut it a little bit. Stick that up in there and then go, oh, I can very easily make that a little bit taller now. So we've got our peony bundles in. Actually, I'm gonna make this one in the back a little bit taller so that, uh, you know, Pull it up just a little bit, but I had enough in the styrofoam that it's it's fine. So now for this one, this one's going to be a little different. So we'll do something just slightly different with this one. Um, we're going to take our clematis vine, and because it's very viney, I'm going to stick it in on the side, and then we're going to braid it around our handle so it looks like it's growing up and around our wall pocket handle and then we'll do the other side we'll just stick that in you want to stick it in at, a, at an angle kind of coming out to the side and then we're going to let this we're going to pick it up off of the screw for right now. We're going to let that kind of wind around a little bit loose, not too tight. The clematis vine would be great for people that like to make the little halos for kids, for weddings that they wear on their heads. The leaf's a little bit large, but yeah. It could be that kind of a looser. One. Yeah, I've seen some larger leaves used on those. Yeah. Definitely make like a little head band piece. It works, halo. works well for that style, that real wispy vine yeah. kind of idea. So we're going to also keep a few of these pieces kind of like they're, like it's all growing around up here. I'm going to use one more of our clematis vines. So we're going to use the same two longish stems. And we're going to let these meet up here in the middle. So we're extending our vine piece just a little bit. So we've got layers of vine. I'm going to adjust this down just a little bit. Might have to take a couple of runs at it. We've got a couple more pieces of the clematis here. Maybe one toward the center that's kind of short. We don't want to get it too close to the top because we want to make sure that we keep that basket handle appearance going there. But we're going to use a little bit of our clematis vine just to break up our peonies because they're all so pink. We can get a little foliage 
in front of those. There we go. And then we're going to add our yellow poppies. I do love these poppies. You saw me use them earlier, but they're so wispy and easy that I really do like them. They're small, so they add really a lot of color for comparatively to their size. We're going to let our poppies kind of grow into our handle also. Now we're going to use a little bit longer stem. So I cut two of my poppy stems off of this one so that I have a longer piece to work with. I'm going to stick that in and then we're going to curve this part around so I can get up to closer to the middle. Which I might should have done first, but I did not. So, oh well. Make it work now. But that way we've got our handle going around our basket. And then just like the clematis, I'm going to stick a couple toward the center, but let them follow a similar pattern, similar shape to if they're growing out. Break up that pink a little bit more. And I've got one more stem. So any place that you feel like you need a little extra something, we can fill in with these little poppies here. Just a great addition, pop of color to just about any space. I'm going to make it feel very wildflowery. finished with our peony poppy garden basket wall pocket door decor. There you have it. Three DIY door decor, wall pocket decor, whatever you want to call it, decor <laughs> um, ideas. <laughs> You See, know, it's hard to, uh, to narrow it down. Yeah. But yes, these are all things that we think you can do at home. If you check out the description, we're going to have links that you can follow. We're going to put each of these together in a kit. So you can go to our website, order the kit right now, which today is April the 3rd, right? I think today is April 3rd. I don't we're know. recording this video. When you get this video, it might be a little bit later than that. But the month of April, we will be shipping things typically with it's just in a day or two. It shouldn't yeah. take very long. So you can have this on your front door in just a few days. And right. you should. And you should. You should get one for sure. So that is all that we have planned for today's video. We hope you all have a wonderful day, a wonderful weekend. We are so appreciative of you for joining us. We love your comments. So let us know in the comments which one of these wall pockets is your favorite. Do you like the pretty peony or the magnolia, pink magnolia? Or maybe you're more into the garden roses in cream. These are garden roses, right? Or like kind of like a garden rose. Yeah. Yeah. So we would love to know which one is your favorite. And until next time, be blessed. Talk to me nice.